Oh, cake found something good. I'm coming. <gasps> okay, there's a bottle dump. This is exciting. An unsearched bottle dump. That's a cute little ink. Unsearched by us, obviously. <laughs> oh no, we haven't been to. What's that? Is that a watch? Could be a watch. I have to put my glasses on, I think. No, maybe it wasn't a watch. That's quite a cute ink, though. Okay, loads of stuff. <laughs> we haven't been to a, a new bottle dump for a very, very long time. We're quite excited. <laughs> milk paste. Oh, milk glass are broken, unfortunately. <laughs> One little thing. Is it going to be a fun one? Um, I'm not sure if it is a fun one, but it is a glass button, a milk glass button. To clean it and see. A tiny find. Viral jar. Oh, that's broken. Could be a line, could be a knob. We're not sure. <laughs> this is the knob, this is the line. <laughs> it's a plastic toothbrush. It's got loads of writing. Look. Oh, wow, yes, yes, it does. Yes. Okay, so this is Marmite, not Bovril. So I think I'm going to take it. I think I'm going to have to take it. We have a lot of bovril, but not marmite. Marble. Clay marble. A mirror plate, that's quite nice. I keep that. Doll's house stuff. There's loads of bottles. That's this sauce one. Shield hall. Little ones, pickle bottle, pickle jar, seed that looks like a bead, a plate. What's on this plate? Is anything interesting on the other side? No, <laughs> it looks like someone's always wiped to tea. What does it say? Parker Dobson. Who's Parker Dobson? Never heard of him. Them. This one, London. Mackelman's. Mackelman's Limited, London. That's a really beautiful brown bottle. Oh, there's a little green one. Goodness. Okay. Look at this guy. Looks like a crab. This bottle still has its lid attached, which is pretty cool. little milk glass jar. It's very cute. It's a nice bottle. This bottle's got its lid on it. I always presumed they were plastic but it's metal. That is pretty but the lid would just perish and then it would be a screw top bottle. <laughs> it goes all up the hill. It's everywhere. Saucepan. 
That's quite a cute saucepan, actually. <laughs> hmm, be quite good for the allotment. Think about that. That is a nice bottle. Shame the lid is broken. It's such Art Deco. I don't know what was in it. I don't think I'd want to try and clean it out. <laughs> it is beautiful, though. Very evocative. So many bottles. I haven't seen bottles like this for quite a while. Brill cream. Lots of teaspoons. That's quite nice teaspoons, actually. What's this little one? I do like the little one. Running out of space. I just put my tool. Ah, it's disguising itself. It's a very mixed era. Oh, what's that one? What's that one? That one looks nice. Let's see. Yeah, put my glasses. I think it says McDonald's steam system. Poisonous. Oh, that's a nice bottle. I think it's a bit sick, but I don't mind. Isn't that beautiful? Yeah, it's really beautiful. I have to see how clean it comes up. Oh yeah, that's nice. Tiny little ink. It's a whole switch. It's a ceramic mechanism. The actual switch and the decorative cover. Oh, it is complete. Oh no, look, Mum. I had the looking. barrel. <laughs> Do we need a tiny little bottle? Oh, I mean, it's still complete. Yeah. I oh, do you know what? what? Oh, that's such a shame, Kate. Look. Oh, I mean, it's still complete. Yeah. I actually quite like that. Yeah, a wonky poison and it's not got any chips. Yeah, yeah okay. Yeah, and that little pot. <laughs> oh yeah. I... Must have been an intense fire around here because there's another little melted poison. Mm hmm. That one might be more discoloured though. That is cute though. A little, I can't remember what these are called. Hobnail? Oh, cake, okay, that's something good. Uh, I'm coming. Mum! Mum! If we can clean this, if we can sort this out and stretch it out and clean it up. It's a sardine tin. Can you <gasps> put a sardine on it? That would be so good for the borrowers. How amazing would that be? Ah. Oh. Oh, that is beautiful. And it's all there, we just have to do it really carefully. I like that. Yes, I like that a lot. Do we want this? Another. I don't know about that one. It's a bit discoloured, isn't it? Yeah. Quite melted. Oh, look at the little perfume. Oh, yeah, it's one of those ones that says June. Oh, have that. Yeah. What was on that egg cup? Oh, some peat ladies, but it's curved. It's... Mm. Ooh. What do you think this was? Oh, this one's got writing on it. I picked it up because it was tiny. What does it say? Oh, it's got a lip too. It says Langdale Concentrated Medicine Cinnamon. <gasps> look at the lip. What's up, wing? This is what we came over to look at. Oh, no. <gasps> oh. That's so beautiful. We can definitely do something with that though. Oh, wow. Okay. 
Oh yes please, that might come in handy, whatever it is, over on the miniature channel. Some bottles, amber one, panel, that's an unusual shape, that's a cute square bottle for our little bottles, I like that, it's very square <laughs> and there's a little bulb that looks like a fish eye. It's definitely good for the mudlarking doll's house. That is a real, real heartbreaker. Oh, it would have been triangular too. That is a real, real shame. It's an ink. Unfortunately, way too dinked up, I think. It's a shame. <laughs> and it's a proper pirate's bottle. It's a pretty shape. You just pulled this one out, though, and it's... One this one says biserated magnesia bismarck limited have we got that one i think it's a fairly common one okay carefully prepared by key bells darby sorry you love all these in the back <laughs> Well, that was quite exciting. It was very exciting, <laughs> yes. <laughs> we haven't found a new bottle dump for, wow, oh, years. Years, yeah. So, when you just come across one unexpectedly, mm. you get a little, a little excited. A little bit, yes. <laughs> that is why I wasn't quite dressed for bottle dump. No. Because I didn't know that's, yeah, it was just sort of a recce. And then it ended up being this. Yeah. I mean, I think, well, we're not used to a bottle dump like that. Are we? I think if we'd have, Concentrated more, we might have found more little things. Yeah, yeah. But there was a lot of leaves as well, yeah. wasn't there? Had to get back into the mindset of it. I think. Yeah, but I think we did. I mean, we found different because it's a different. Yeah, it's a different beast, isn't mm -hmm. it? The bottle dump to like beach mud larking. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I mean, there's some interesting things some here. Very interesting things. So, what's your favourite find? Uh, my favourite find is <laughs> really strange. I know, I know other people. I thought you were laughing the way it went. What's your favourite um, find? No. Um, uh, other people might just think this. You know, it's just like an old. It's an old sardine tin, but it's beautiful. I absolutely. We both loved tinned fish. We love the designs of tins of but fishes. I just like graphics. Yeah. Full stop. Yeah, packaging is a real yeah thing for both of us. <laughs> I know. <laughs> and it's one's got. An embossed fish on it. It's beautiful. It's, I love it. I'm going to clean it up even more, and I think yeah, we're going to either use it in the borrowers on the other channel, or make sort of like a, a trinket box out yeah. of it. Put some coloured card or fabric behind these little holes here. Maybe soak it a little bit. Clean yeah. It up. We, we literally yeah. were only doing this yesterday, weren't we? Yes. <laughs> and on it, it says, "Packed in Norway in pure olive oil, the new hygienic aluminum container." Ooh, that was strange. What, you said aluminum? I said aluminum instead, instead of aluminium. aluminium. <laughs> Why is that? I've been watching too, much I've been American watching too many American things, I think. Goodness. <laughs> wow. The new hygienic <laughs> aluminium container. No metal taste, no harm to vitamins, safe, easy opening. So obviously, yeah, this is this is from when tinned fish was still a novelty. novelty. They must have been using paste jars until then and yeah. And it's Do you think incredible. it was coloured as well? Or? I'm not sure. Unfortunately, I can't find anything about this. It's packed in Norway, but Norway was a very large hmm. um, exporter of tinned fish. Yeah, it's, it's, 
incredible. There's a lot of history about the history of canning, but I, I don't think we'll go into it. <laughs> but you can see, if you turn it over, you can see yeah. that they cut it out like a sardine tin. You can yeah. see that they must have pulled the ring or... Yeah. Yeah. Which is weird then, because this is then on the bottom. It is on the bottom. So maybe... Well, they're both... Yeah, the one we used for the borrowers had to, had the design on both sides. Did it have it on the bottom? Oh, usually the bottom's for ingredients, but I suppose... Huh, this is the ingredients. It's just pure olive oil and fish. It, yeah, it's one of my favourite things. I absolutely love it. It's the fact that it's got a beautifully embossed, really detailed silverfish on it that I love. I absolutely love it. It's amazing. And you would never find anything like that at the beach. No, no, it would have been corroded way yeah. too much. Your favourite find? <sighs> it's just tossed between two, actually, but one of them I didn't find. But my favourite find is the bottle. It's such a cool bottle. So this... So this says McDonald's steam system, poisonous at the top, and then the steam is in like a little... It's not a scroll, is it? It's sort of a banner esque thing and it's got the ridges because it's poisonous so well, it it's, says poisonous too yeah so and it's beautiful but it's also got a really cool history so mcdonald was a sort of pioneer in the perming process of curling your hair permanently and the so this would have been the lit so what was in this bottle would have been the liquid that you poured into the perming kettles. And MacDonald uh, invented a revolutionary system as his did not use electrical heating, which they were using beforehand. Instead, steam was generated in a separate kettle or later in a small individual kettles, the steam being led by tubes to each heater. Here are some pictures of perming machines of the sort of 1920s and 30s, which look like something like a war like movie. Torture. Yeah. <laughs> um, but, um, and arrangements had to be made to remove the condensed water, but there was no risk of overheating nor of electric shock. There was still a risk of scalding, but, you, you know, there was electric heating and water involved before, and as everyone knows, electricity and water, water <laughs> don't gel very well, <laughs> except in eels. <laughs> So, yeah, this would have been perming solution. It's a very pretty colour. It's like, so light uh, blue. Boric acid and some other sort of stuff. Is that boric? Uh, I don't know. Oh, what's Bleach? It no. no. Uh, oh, no. Borax. Borax. That's it. Borax and ammonia. Sort of things. But, yeah, so this would have been used at some point to perm a woman's hair in the 90s or 30s. I'll probably have to varnish it or something to get rid of the sickness. Yeah, but it, yeah, it's a beautiful bottle. I wonder if she was happy with her perm. Mm -hmm. That's very evocative. You had a perm once, didn't I you? I did have a perm. It was terrible. <laughs> <laughs> I've uh, never needed a perm. Um, so, yeah, it's a stunning bottle and it's aqua as yeah. well. Yeah, very pretty colour. We've got our little uh, wonky <laughs> green... Not to be taken poison. I like it just because it's, it's yeah. so... It's, weirdly, it's not that messed up. It's just melted, yeah. which I quite like. Um, I picked up my Marmite because I love Marmite. That's a one and you. then we've got... I think we may have found this before, but Possibly. not one with a little pouring lip. This is Langdale's uh, Concentrated Medicinal Cinnamon. And you can still buy this. It's still available in shops. What's it, what's it cure? I knew you were going to ask me. <laughs> <laughs> Helps ward off the effects of a cold. Oh. Because it's warm because of Langdale. Um, because of cinnamon. It's warm because of Langdale. <laughs> it's warming because of cinnamon. So they say that helps fight off colds. We definitely have found a little June perfume bottle before. There's a little June up here. I still got some of the perfume in the corner. I couldn't Didn't get it smell. out because it's got like the. No. It smells <laughs> of washing up liquid. <laughs> Just a nice square. Unusual. So square. So square. Although not rectangular. No. Cube. <laughs> so cubic. Um, the owl. 
the owl, which is such a shame such that it shame. doesn't have its head again. So detailed. It's so incredibly detailed with the talons and each individual, each individual feather. It's so beautiful. I don't know what this little knob, knob on the top on the front. Could have been an ink well. Yeah. If you think it flipped. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, because there's one on the back. Yeah, yeah it must it's have been. An ink well. Yeah. <sighs> That would have been so incredible if that was complete. Uh, we are going to turn it into a pin cushion, though. I'll give an owl's head yeah. out fabric. Oh, that would have been so amazing if that had been complete. But it is, yeah, it's stunning. It's a lovely piece of Metal. craftsmanship. Um, some mystery. That's part of a knob or something, isn't it? Or some sort Could of... be part of a curtain rail. Or yeah, or a lamp. It'd be very good for... But it'd be very good for... Miniatures. Um, and, and this, this is one of those lions. It is a um, lion, but lion. it's very. We've got a, a more detailed one somewhere. I don't know where it is, but yeah, they the put them on top stuff. of terrines and things. Yeah, it's a little finial. And then this is not a toothbrush. This says, fine fashion, made in England, sterilised pure bristle with what looks to be a little shot putting man. Is there a famous statue of a shot putter? What's uh, that favourite sh statue when he's got his arm behind his back holding a shot put? I think I'll that's get part a picture of the Olympics, of it. isn't it? Yeah. Is it? It's like a, uh, maybe not, I don't know. I will, I will get a picture <laughs> up. I think it's that. And yes, it's not a toothbrush. It's actually a clothes brush for very small clothes. Yeah. <laughs> well, for just getting lint, isn't it? Hmm. Well, a bit, a bit too large for a toothbrush. Mm. I thought Stab it was just a hairbrush or something, or a baby brush. Yeah, fine fashion. It's for clothes. So, yeah, I think it's sort of 1920s, 30s era. There's, oh, I don't know about those poisons. Some I think they went on for quite a while. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Very excited to go back. We also got the saucepan. Oh, yes, we did pick up the saucepan <laughs> to use as a plant pot at That'll Lottie. <laughs> We hope you enjoyed as much as we did yeah. going. Thank you as always for everyone that likes, comments and subscribes. Not sure where we'll be next time, but hopefully, maybe we'll find somewhere else. <laughs> I doubt it. <laughs> so we hope you have a wonderful rest of the week. Thank you as always well, uh, to all of our to just say why brilliant Patreons. We've not put a film on for a while because your car broke down. My car, no, well, it's my broken. car died. It's my gone. car has died. Yes, my car that I've had for about five or six years has died and I've had a bit of a cry about it. Um, I'm, we're currently in the process of trying to scrimp and save and sell some things to try and pay for a new car because we uh, can't so really go yeah. up with mudlucking otherwise. <laughs> so, yes, uh, we hope you understand. So, yes, don't know where we'll be or when it will be, but hopefully soon. <laughs> Bye. Bye.